It's all scrunched up. First episode in. Yes. And you are insulting my equipment. <laughs> I didn't feel we started. We started. First episode in, we're already starting insulting my equipment. It looks squishy. It's not my fault. <sighs> stole that from the Happy Hour podcast, just like how I stole. <laughs> Nothing else. Actually, I stole back the idea of starting it, restarting my podcast. <laughs> Joke's on them, though. <laughs> Lol. Well, is that that big of a deal? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Let's Talk Tennis podcast, the best podcast in my mind. Uh, today, we have our new co-host here. It's not her. It's the dog, actually. who's just beyond the camera. Yes. You can see her breath through the... What? Oh. Sadie, come here. Come here. I'm getting a message. Come here. She's a little cutie pie. Come here. You have something to say? It's always the same thing. Always the same thing. For those who don't know, who don't realize, um, this is my girlfriend, Savannah. The pedal bomb. It's not the dog. Oh. Oh, yeah. Keep. You'd be great on Jonah's podcast. You'd be great on the happy hour. Anyways, welcome back. For those who don't know, I'm Tendi, Carter, whatever you want to call me. This is Sav, Pedal Bomb. She's the new co-host. She has agreed to it. I wish I recorded the agreement so I have it on video, but she agreed to it. Yep, why not? Uh, that also means, are you going to keep? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, for those who don't know yet, uh, the reason she says we're back down here is because we recorded Prime Reviews, two separate Prime Reviews, in the basement. Now this, go check those out on Chicken Tendy Gaming. They're not out yet, but I gotta edit them. I'll eventually get around to it. Are you gonna put this out first? Probably. Oh. Anyways, so- Well, if they're out, then go check them out. If you recognize the the background for any matter of the reason, there was a small amount of time where I actually slept in the basement. The reason was is because I uh, was getting my room renovated to what it is now. So if you recognize this wall, that's because I recorded on this wall. On this wall. On this wall. Um. What? <laughs> okay. Along with this, we also. Uh, decided that the bi-weekly podcast is going to continue and that we're going to have a guest she's now the always guest and every time we have a guest who wants to come in the real space bam right in the middle i just i need to get a new mic a i am mic. the best guest you'll be the only continuous guest i guess the only repeat guest if you so want to i am the best guest yes. you are the best guest <laughs> oh, sh- yes we know i'll get you on an episode one day She's on an episode. She's, She's on this episode. Want, oh, I get it. You want your fame. I know. The Prime review won't come out yet. The joke in the Prime review was that we got Sadie's opinion for not drinking it. And we just put the mic to her and she went and just sniffed it. That, that's, the, that's the idea behind it. Yeah, well, she did a pretty good, good pretty job. Good review. Better than some reviewers. Can you calm down? She has issues. Um, I got things and things and more things and more things. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Let's Talk Tennis podcast. Uh, we are going to actually steal this from the YPR podcast. We're going to roll the intro not right away because I actually want to do a little bit of editing on this. I'm going to have to do it anyway, so I hate myself and I hate everything with me. Moving on, watch the intro, do better, enjoy it. Anyways, yeah, have fun. And welcome back. Little did you know, I actually don't sit there for the full mid hat 30 seconds or whatever it is. Did you know that? I actually don't sit there for the full 30 seconds. I give it two seconds and then I go, okay, we're back. Okay, we're back. Okay, we're back. So this episode, um, do you want to introduce yourself for those who don't know already? But I've done a lot of yapping. Um, so... I am Pedal Bomb, aka Savannah, aka Chicken Tendy's girlfriend. Oh my goodness! Whoa, 
Thanks for having me. <laughs> You've probably seen me in a few other videos, and you might have watched mine. If you did, congratulations. You're one of very few. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, well, I do art. I, um, I sing. Not very well, but I sing. And, Some would uh, argue you sing well. Some would argue that I don't. <laughs> um, and it's about it. Not much to me. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Uh, yeah, so that's Sav. We are slowly, as in slowly, I mean right away, going to introduce her in every episode as now the co-host. I am co-host. She is co-host. I am, for- um... Hopefully, as long as this podcast lasts, the reason why I am co-host. Chicken Nugget because he's Chicken Tendy. There you go, Nugget. Um, I'm not. I'm not. I don't know. Uh, the reason for a co-host was simple. I'm bored and I like conversation. I don't like talking to myself or just to a camera. It sucks. It's also just a bunch of blabbery at that point because I used to do it too. She also doesn't listen to the episodes where I yap along. So I thought, why not invite her to the yapping session? Listen, I, I, I listen to the yappers, just depending on the video. No, she doesn't. I thought, what a great way to start with the first co-host. Start in a bunch of conversation. Um, mostly because from your house to my house, the seven-minute drive it took, I encountered two bikers on the road. Um, hot take, they're stupid. Why are they stupid? The, the, the Okay, so... For those who don't know, starting, like, in uh, Canada, I don't know if it's the same in the States, if your form of transportation has wheels, you can consider it road legal. Yes. So, there's a lot of people who will bike to places. They'll, They'll go and they will, like, bike. But if there's not a bike lane on the road, they'll just go on the road. Well, you know, it's, like illegal to be on the sidewalk technically i know a lot of people do it i do, I do it. it yeah i i think it's I'm, safer it is it, it's safer and it's more comfortable for me but like it is it is technically illegal to go on the sidewalk on a bike it's technically i still think that's unless there's a dedicated bike lane like in in my little neighborhood there's no dedicated bike lane. It's literally just a street, and then my street that connects to the street, and then it basically is just a U. That's it. And it, it's 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 such a dumb dumb thing where you can't be safer on a sidewalk, but you have to go onto a road where people suck at driving. Yeah, no, I I agree. Trust me, I wouldn't ride my bike on the road if it's around. Like, I have, obviously, but, like, mostly, like, crossing the street and stuff like that. But, like, on the road does seem, like, I get nervous easy, too. So, on the road, it would probably, like, freak me out, of course. Because, like, I'm not, I don't know who's in front of me or behind me, and they're going to probably hit me because nobody knows how to be careful no um it's it's really stupid i understand that it's a form of transportation with wheels Mm -hmm. like you can't walk on a road that's that's a no-no but if it's not motorized it shouldn't be on the motorized this unnamed cola is messy yes sadie she shoved me a little sit down Sit. She's a tough Maybe we can get her on the camera. But here's the thing. She's also like, what is it? She's like a big lap dog. She doesn't know how big she no. is. Um, but one of the things, it it's it should be for motorized vehicles only, is the way I see it. I if agree. It, and it should be like, because I guess you can get around with it with the e bikes, the e scooters, and stuff like that. But like, motorized where. You have to press a pedal to get it to go. Or in a... I don't know how to e-bike work. But, like, in the case of, like, a bicycle. Like, you have to, like... Or, like, a motorbike. You have to twist the thing. I don't know if that's how e-bikes work. Mm, yes and no. <laughs> anyway, she, yes she, and no. She, uh, I can't really remember. I've only been on an e-bike a few times. But it... 
kind of works the same way for some. I know that there's others where you, like, I guess have to press a button or something like that. Like, there's a yeah. few ways to do it. But, like, I get your point. I It's, it's just annoying because in, at least Ontario, you have to give them, it doesn't sound like a lot, but you have to give them a meter of space when you pass them. Um, but on a busy road, like when I was, when we came back to my house, the, the road we were going down where we were kind of stuck behind the bike was relatively busy. Sometimes you can't just sneak over like how you could on a normal, like if the road's empty, it it's, it's such an inconvenience for other people when the sidewalk's right there and you can just say, no, use the sidewalk. You're calm. Oh, you're calm now. <laughs> She's so funny. She got a toy. She's gonna find her way out now. <laughs> okay. She can't. She's. <laughs> she can't Sav get has out. blocked off her only way out. Oh, she's forcing her way out now. <laughs> no, she's going underneath my leg. Here, you can go. Be free. I could have stopped. Um, Sorry, I watched all the hair. Just went. <laughs> oh, I know. It's funny, Sadie. So Sadie sheds too much. Oh my god! Insane amount. I'm sure plenty of people who are watching this know exactly how you feel. Short hair dogs. Yes, you. Interview? No. You want you want an interview? No. Okay. Uh, short haired dogs are horrible when it comes to shedding. That's true. Just everywhere. I can't go five seconds without seeing a clump of Sadie hair well, on like, the floor. It was great when we had dark floors. So my dog is like a Jack Russell, and she sheds like really, really small. Like all of her stuff is like really, really small. But the issue is, it gets everywhere including all over my bed and all over my black clothes because she's a white dog so she, it gets it's like really noticeable on all of my clothes and it's really it, i love her to bits and pieces but like man is it frustrating yeah i would come home from your house and it would be like <laughs> i just i look down and my pants are now like spotted with little white hairs i love it and hate it i hate it <laughs> My grandma had Jack Russells, and they would shed a lot. Yeah, but they're so cute. They are, but they're... She's so cute, but she's also... She is probably, like, the most vicious dog you'll ever meet. And she's about this big. She's not very big. She, like, she's devious. She can get out of any place imaginable. And she is, like, super sneaky. Casual Jack Russell moment. Sorry, I had to talk about my dog. She's super cute. Cute's a word. She is cute. B bug oh eye. my gosh, have you seen her I'm sleep? sorry. She that sleeps one so cute. I'll see if I can find the photo. The one photo I have of her where she just, like, bug-eyed is hilarious. Where is it? I don't really understand. You will Respecting. understand. But, well. You. You will understand. That's so cute. Okay, that is so cute. Oh, now it's too it's dark. It's gone now. Now it's too dark. Can we... Yeah, can we see that? Bug-eyed. It's funny, okay? It's funny. Funny. Anyways, she told me not to do that. Pick up the mic and talk into it, but too well, bad. if you are that close, it is going to deaf everything. I don't know like what you're talking about. It's actually probably not even to the fullest degree. Probably annoy a lot of people because it goes so like this. <laughs> people hate me. Moving on. So, we, bikers on the road suck, especially for drivers. Personally, I don't get that. Dogs shed too much. That's true. What else can we talk What else was I going to talk about? Oh, yeah. High school. <laughs> Yes. We had two very different experiences in high school, which I don't think we've actually touched upon on film recording things. I don't really think we talked about it too much even I together. Mean, like, well, our differences. Our differences, no. We talked about just high school in general. 
Yes, but like not like because we went to the same high school. It's not like we went to two different ones. We went to the same one, but how do we want to start with that? Who wants to go first? It's your podcast. My high school's experience sucked. It was bad. I liked high school. Horrible. I had so much fun. The part that saved high school for me was the pandemic. I will hold. I I think I'm one of the very few who enjoyed being stuck at home for the pandemic. Which is where I know you don't. No, it didn't really affect me either way. I was pretty happy. I just missed people. I hated people. Long story short, as you can tell, I'm not the the skinniest kid. I'm also a ginger. It doesn't go too well. The <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't go too well. Um, element late elementary school into high school was rough, at least for me. I don't know about late elementary school. I thought it was all of all them. elementary school, but late elementary school is when it picked up. His whole life seven grade seven eight is basically when it picked up. Apologies. <laughs> for making jokes about your life if you're not gonna do it i will <laughs> fair enough um so yeah late elementary school was tough going into high school and i thought high school or i was told high school would get better grade nine wasn't a horrible except i was still stuck with the people that made grade eight hell if that makes sense it wasn't horrible for the most seriously it was just hard for when people noticed you yeah and like it was it was it was nice until right it was always it's it's always nice until oh i got some stories about that for you that i remember you don't have to say i don't i probably won't i have a horrible memory um so yeah it was nice until uh and a lot of it would just be like one-off experiences uh, it would just be, it would literally be all in, it was funny, because it would always be in one day where it just was like, oh yeah, I'm having a good, never mind. Like, it just would always happen. Are you okay? <laughs> she just wants to hang out, please. Leave her alone. We need to get, she needs a little stool to Leave sit her on. Be. She needs a little Leave stool to be. sit on, be a part of the party. Oh, you can kind of see her now. Oh no. She blends in with the, uh, <laughs> the little dark thing. Leave her be. Hey, Leave her. whoa. Leave her be. Whoa! She, sorry, she she nibbled my 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 uh, sweater. She nibbled it. Um. Oh. Ah! Listen, girl. Listen, lady. Pick one or the other. <laughs> Anyways, it was good, and then it was bad, and then it was weird. So it was bad, worse, and it was it was bad. Actually, grade ten, I think, was the worst. Well, grade 10, you had a lot of issues, but first semester was when... First semester was bad. But then we ended up going into COVID. Yeah, that was, what, 10 second semester? Uh-huh. It's great. That's Sadie hair all over me. So, grade 9 was okay, except for, I think, gym class was kind of when it was bad. Because that was all the kids that would, like, that made it bad in elementary school. Well, yeah, they were... Then, because they're all athletic kids. Like, we were all athletic, and we all like sports. So we'd all be in, like, the same sport classes. So that was bad. Um, grade 10. I'm trying to think. Other than... I can give this one experience. So grade 10 English. I'm not going to give names of teachers, whoever, unless they're good and I like them. Which is the way I do it. I don't name drop unless I like them, which give me two, two, three weeks, and I will give my ranking of my college teachers. Well, like, the teacher he's about to mention was great to me, which is unfortunate. Which is weird. This is, this is the experience we're talking about. So, grade 10, I had English, and I had nobody that I knew... That I liked, I should say. I knew a a couple people in the class. There's nobody I liked in the class. Nobody that liked me. That didn't go too, too well with whatever. But we were in class one day. And it was... I don't even know what we were learning. I don't remember. All I remember is we watched Shakespeare. But is that Romeo and Juliet with Leonardo DiCaprio? (gasps) Weirdly great movie. It's, It's such a bad movie, but it makes it so good. You know I've never seen that movie. Really? No. Really? No. 
I'm surprised. I love Romeo and Juliet, but I love just I the, we can find the actual story. Like, I like reading about it and hearing about it, but I've never seen any, like, besides Nomeo and Juliet, because, like, that was one of now. my favorite movies. I gotta see if I can find it now. Um, not the shape. I want the movie. <laughs> I want that movie. I want that movie. Yeah, this one. Leonardo. Oh, it's on Disney Plus. We can watch it tonight. Sick. Sweet. Awesome. Um, so we were we were in class one day. I was talking with the teacher. He wasn't really paying attention, but we were in in like a conversation. He was kind of out of it, but they were talking about the Leafs or something. Uh, who played tonight? By the way. <laughs> um. The the conversation, we're talking about whatever. I'm going to say Leafs because I don't fully remember. The He ends up stopping whatever he was doing on his computer. And I swear, if you ask anyone else in that class, they won't remember it. But I only remember certain things. Um, he stops in the class and he goes, oh my god, Carter, can you stop talking? Then turns to the class and says, raise your hand if you want Carter to stop talking. I that. On God, on jaw, is what happened. And everyone raised their hand. So it didn't really help, but that was like th the peak of the bad to the point where I think I got s too much anxiety that I couldn't eat breakfast to go to school. And the worst part is it was the last class of the day, so it was always like... Oh, you always had that in yeah. anticipation? It was like, what's going to happen today? That was one of them. Another one, I think a girl was just talking, and I, she said something about me, and I told her to shut up. Oh. I don't remember what happened in that one, though. I don't remember what she said. No. Well, for for me, I also... Okay. The thing with me is, I if, if I was ever picked on for any reason, or if, like, if um, somebody was making fun of me, most of the time, I really wouldn't notice... Because, like, I'm not one to let anything bother me too much unless it's my own doing or in my own head. But, like, most times, most most times, I wouldn't get bothered by that stuff because I didn't realize. On your back. Wow, wow. Interrupting me. I finally get to talk and now you <laughs> Wow. This is how it goes. On your bed. Enough. Enough. Uh, listen, dog. Shh. I'm, I'm so sorry. Do you want to go upstairs? Come on, let's go upstairs. <laughs> Keep talking. Uh, okay, so back to what I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by a dog. Because for some reason everybody has interrupted me. But um, Anyway, so moving on. <laughs> So basically, b b b b anyways, basically, um, what I never really was bothered by anything. So I never like even if the, a teacher called me out most times, I wouldn't really pay mind because like, uh, I just didn't care enough apparently to like I care a lot about certain things, but when it comes to like people making fun of me or whatever, I wasn't really too bothered by it. Because it just, I didn't really notice. I didn't have a reason to notice. I didn't care. That's it, fair. It was like, oh, somebody's, because like, I would have, um, I used to have this kid in school who used to, like, I, whenever I had a ponytail in my hair, he used to pull my hair, like, in elementary school, and like, him and his friends would always, like, tease me about certain things. But the thing is with me, I'm always able to tease myself first before I can ever be insulted. Because, like, even on TikTok, I literally have cringe in my uh, my bio so that nobody can make fun of me first. It cringes your name is literally your... Exactly. It's literally your TikTok handle. Because it's like, okay, call me whatever you want because you're not going to get anything out of me. If... Anything I've ever said, I've said. Like, anything anyone else is going to say, I've already said to myself, two steps away from the mirror. Just saying. <laughs> I was nose to nose with myself in the mirror. No, but, like, it's just one of those things. I had a good experience, like, 
and it sucks because even all my siblings, all of my siblings were bullied and picked on and whatever. And I didn't, like, I, I'm glad I didn't have that experience, but I'm, I wish I could relate. I wish I could understand 100%, but most times I, I can't because it's like I wasn't picked on. And if I was, I didn't care enough for them to keep going because it's like I didn't pay mind to it. So nobody kept going. Elbozo basically elbows <laughs> um it was great going into covid 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 was great well like for me my I, I i'm easily i'm able to easily adapt to everything so it's like during covid um i got good grades i got to sleep in and I helped my sister with her homework, um, and I got to draw all night, and I got to stay up for hours. I have s- terrible sleep insomnia, so I'm up for hours on end, and, like, I used to, like, be- now, You would, like, fall asleep at, like, what, three, four, no, five? No, not, sometimes, like, 7 a.m., because I would go upstairs most, most days, and, I would get grab a coffee and my my dad would look at me and go, "You still awake?" and I would go, "Yep." <laughs> because he was asleep before I was. You, like everybody I knew was asleep before I was. Which sucked because when you when we first started dating, she was already working her job. And she was a cashier at I'm not saying, well, I'm not giving the company free press. Pay me for that. <laughs> um she started working as a cashier and she would work nights because it would be like she'd go home from school, change, go right to work. And then you'd work weekends. Yeah. For, for it it was 4 to 9 weekdays and there was whenever on week like weekends so it was like 8 to 4 4 to 9 whatever it was. It it kind of was up and down. And then you would get home, and I would already be halfway. Well, you would get home, and either I would freak out because you didn't text me, because really I would get really that. worried because she is a teenage girl walking home at like nine thirty at night by herself in the dark with weird people, and then she would just not text. She would get home and crash. Act like legitimately just falls asleep from exhaustion, and then I would just freak out all night. And she's like, "Good morning." I go, "You didn't text me when you fell as- fell asleep." No, I was most worried. times actually he'd text my siblings, and then they'd wake me up at like twelve, mm. and then be like, "Savannah, t- text your boyfriend. <laughs> he- he's freaking out. He's calling everybody, and he's worried you died." And I'm like, "Oh, no, he just gave it half an, an extra half an hour." And then I would past- text him. I'd be like, "Oh yeah." I'm alive. My bad. And then I would just fall asleep. I don't know. Um, But now that you work mornings, you're actually sleeping. Yeah. I I, I have, like, well, recently, I actually, it's been getting back down there. But um, if you couldn't tell by me falling asleep before you most of these nights this week, which usually I don't because um, my job is really hard now. So, not only am I exhausted from working really early in the morning, I'm exhausted because I'm doing a lot of physical labor, and that's a lot for me, especially because I am a short girl working with a bunch of, like, tall boys who... Big manly men. (laughs) Yeah, pretty much. who, Who, like, obviously are a lot more, like, suited for the job physically. It's funny too because you keep up with them, really. Like you either keep up with them or you do more than them. Oh yeah! Oh heck yeah! Which is yeah. like really impressive. Well, it's only because like what is it? I've always been an overachiever. That is even true. in high school, uh, and anything I ever did, it's why people like teachers liked me is because anything I ever did, I was always on top of it. Like, on top of it. I had, like, a few teachers who didn't like me, but they didn't like anybody. That's fair. But I... There I, were some I've, teachers who just sucked. What is it? I've always wanted to be on top. So, it's like, 
I was always the fastest kid, or at least second place, Sheesh, which is fine. Speedy. I was always one of the smartest people. Like, Sheesh. not to do much. It's not to be like, oh, yeah, I'm so smart. Oh, no, my God. Do it. Say it's Because I know I'm dumb. You know how many views we can get if you just say that <laughs> men suck? Like, I've always wanted to be, like, one of the... One, uh, one of the most popular people. So I was like, if I wanted something, I'd go for it. And I usually got it. I say usually, because obviously it's life. We don't get everything we want. Yeah. But if, if I had a goal, I'd go for it. I wanted good grades, go for it. I wanted to be muscular, went for it. Wanted to be fast, went for it. Like, you go for it. If you don't go for it, then you're not going to get it. And even if you, like, here's the thing. In school, my my brain was, if I hand this in now, even if I'm late, I get the 50%. Because obviously, in Canada, we get 50. In the States, it's 75 is a pass, right? Yes. It's like, that's tough. I know. That's actually tough, is 75 to pass. It's like, at least I passed. That's all I wanted. I still got higher grades than that, obviously, but it's, like, that's what I, that's what I strived for. It's, like, if I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it, no, regardless. It's, like, if you don't go for it at all, then you're you're going to sit there and think to yourself, why didn't I go for it? That's fair. So, my whole life, I'm, I'm just a go, 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 go getter. But I don't know if you were. It depends on what it is. I think for me, it's if I'm really interested in it, then I'll go for it. Like, actually, tying back to the COVID thing, my YouTube channel, I've probably talked about this a million times, started during COVID, and it was a, I'm going to make the name. Is that the time? I love my mom. She didn't want me starting YouTube for, like, Safe. safety, which is fair, right? You, you, As a parent, you don't want your kid to be on the internet. Especially with all the people who... All the weirdos out there. Dom. I was on the internet what? early, but, like... Dom. Hey, it's me. <laughs> don't, don't. They don't go. They don't know. Listen. Um, unless they really look... Like, you gotta dig to find my old stuff. And I would rather if you didn't, <laughs> because a lot of it day. is... Just a mess. I'm going to put it on my channel one day. No, you um, are not. If you do that, I will hit you. <laughs> you do that? Anyways. We <laughs> Oh, you thought. Well, but... We Anyways. So. Who <gasps> <it's> the... Oh. <laughs> Good thing I did The bit was you. over. <laughs> Good thing I didn't actually hit you. I was like. <laughs> so, COVID. I started the channel. I was literally a New Year's before we were dating it was a like a year before we were dating it was like a new year's eve new year's day like hey let's just make it and go for it i think i talked about this in the last episode actually so like a I, new year's not even like there wasn't even a resolution it was just i want to make it so i made the email made the channel made the name I was like okay great that night i made the logo as bad as it was i was like great and I went to my mom the next day and I said, hey, so I've made the channel. I have the name. I have everything I need. All I need is a capture card, something else and something else, whatever it was. And she goes, well, okay, made it. So it was that. Now I'm here three years later, still somehow posting. I think this is the one thing that I actually haven't. Usually after like a couple months, if it doesn't do well, I just kind of give up. But this is something you committed to. This, yeah, this is the one thing that I think I just actually stuck with. Which I'm very proud of you for. Thank you. Um, that also is including all the other channels I have made. Which is now six, by the way. Well, like, if you go back to the first video he ever made, and then you come back to the one he'll probably post last, you can look and see how, like how much progress you've made which is so impressive like because like i know a lot of people are like i want to be a youtuber i want to do this but the difference is like a lot of the time they do give up but this is something that you actually want and this is something that you've been doing so well at thank you it actually so advertising i'm doing now i'm 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 currently in my field placement forever so i'm almost done my advertising program i have done 
my role for the team for the company I'm with it's like a designer so I'm the one like making the graphics for things I don't think I would have gotten here without YouTube because grade 10 grade 12 I took crazy I know almost three two years ago what about three grade 10 no not grade 10 grade 12 grade 12 oh uh three it'll be three yeah, next three year years. Because yeah. you and I started um, dating in grade 12. Yeah. So, it three years ago, it was like, okay, I'm going to take this Photoshop kind of graphic design course. And maybe it'll help me with YouTube videos better. And then it was my Adobe subscription ran out. So, I was like, okay, whoop de doo And then I went into a design, like, there was a design class I had to take for advertising and it just almost stuck with that and I kind of I liked making things I really like making graphics if you can't tell um but it kind of just stuck with that and I've been doing that for a while too on and off my my art account has not been doing well and I don't post on it consistently at all forgot you have one right i always forget i have one i'm like i look and i'm like oh yeah i have an account if it makes you feel better me too yeah then you'll send me stuff on your art account every now and then i get pretty impressed with myself sometimes <laughs> um yeah i know i'm a little big-headed but that's okay but like this main channel like ten chicken tiny gaming is the only thing long term other than sports that I have stuck with, and the only t the only thing I can actually think of in a while, because other than like sports, you play half the year, you practice for another th quarter of the year, doing it three quarters of the year. You kind of have to stick. Once you pay it, you kind of have to stick with it, or like, or else it's just a waste just of starts, money. He just stops playing. I did. In the, no, no, no. Oh, in the I, middle of a game. I did do that, actually. Yes. Did I, tell, I, did I tell you this? That I left a team halfway through a doubleheader? Yeah, I think so. But I you, was, you want to recap. I can do it. I don't think I've said it on the story. So, I don't think I've said it on either my podcast or the sports podcast that I'm on. Or that I also mine. My podcasts. No. Uh, so my whole podcast. Oh, my gosh. I am the only person who is on these podcasts. Basically. No, I'm kidding. Love you, Jonah. Um, <laughs> so, I... Now you have to shout out his account. I do that all the time. Well, Brian I... Gaming. Shout out. There you go. You're welcome, Shout out, Jonah. homie. Shout out. I got you. Shout out Concession Stand Podcast. Anyways. So, <laughs> we... At the time, I was playing... I would have been 15. I think I would have been 15 at the time. Uh, and we were playing a doubleheader against my hometown. I wasn't playing for my hometown. I didn't make the team. So I was like, okay. So I went back to my other team that changed coaches, basically changed from the ground up. Um, so we were playing and I'm trying to think. We were playing a doubleheader, and the game just went bad. We weren't scoring. We were making mistakes, stuff like that. And our coach, I heard him say, whisper something, because I was sitting. He was at the, the dugout entrance. I'm on the bench for the inning or whatever, because that's how it worked. Uh, and he ended up saying something like, if this guy makes a mistake, I'm going to cut him from the lineup. Let me tell you, he was such a good player. Okay, I'm okay now. I'm restricting. No, I, the I'm highest telling I played you, was single A, and that was for. Half I the am got telling shut down you, by COVID. he was so good, and he does not give himself enough credit. I'm really not that good. Let me tell. I'm, oh, oh, liar! I am not that good. Anyways, if only you knew. The only thing I can do is field, and that's about it. <laughs> I don't think I can do it anymore. I haven't played in a year, two years. Um. But anywho, your story. Anyways, so we go over. Or he, the, the player, funny enough, next play makes the makes another mistake. So my coach goes over to the thing and scratches or whatever. Does whatever to it. And I'm on the bench. I'm bored. We're not winning. We're not doing anything. I'm like, oh, coach put a change into the lineup. 
I went over and I looked at it and the coach was like, he, I could kind of see him at the corner of my eye, but I was kind of just reading the lineup to see if I was going in the next inning. And all I hear is it would be nice if my own, it would be nice if the players let us talk or something like that, or wouldn't overhear a conversation. And we, I kind of like, was like this and this. And it took me a second to actually like register. And I looked up and I looked at him and he's like, like mad face staring at me. And I'm like, well, if you don't talk that loud, then like nobody's going to hear you. (laughs) I'm like, what? Oh. And I went and go sat down. Uh, Later in the game, another player made a mistake and I sent some smart ass comment like, hey, do you need a Snickers because you're not hungry? Or because you're not you or something like that. Like I made some some smart ass comment. And he goes and he's gets up in my face and we had to be separated and whatever. Game ends. Um, People are so yeah. sensitive. I was so I was just upset because the you coach. You're hungry. <laughs> That's funny. It was. So the coach was being a dick. A couple players on the team were being assholes. Your neighbor. Funny enough, her neighbor was on that team, actually said some things about me. He was never good at baseball. I can say that wholeheartedly. Um, it, all, it was all just pent up stuff, right? And that just... And I, I remember my mom, she went to go get Subway and she came back because we played at a different... Di- Anyways, we had, she came back and I'm like, I hate this team. I'm like in tears. I'm like, I hate this team. They're all assholes. They all suck. So my dad fed up because he stayed he watched it all went over screamed out or wasn't yelling at my coach he was well he was yelling at my coach but it wasn't loud calls me raising over, his voice calls me over i'm like you're the worst coach i've ever played with i hope you re- I, like i hope you quit i hope the team fails i'm done go fuck yourself this and that i'm sc- like i'm screaming crying at him you suck blah 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 and i'm like i'm done i'm never playing for you again he goes okay you can leave i go great I hope this team fails. And anyways, so I'm saying bye to a couple of players that like I like. One of the other coach coaches come over here who's not your neighbor's dad because no. he was a coach. Um, and he goes, "Look, I'm gonna try to get him off the team. If I can, I'll call you." And I go, "Great." Don't know if he ever did. My parents. It wasn't brought up after that. And I was honestly gonna quit baseball. And then. The next year, I tried out for a team. I got on it. It was actually for the hometown team. Got on it. I'm like, great. Playing baseball again. And then played the season. Tried out. I wasn't going to play after that because I'm like, okay, now I'm done. Uh, and I got a call. Or my mom, because she her number's on the contact, got a call from the coach of the single A team. And was like, hey, we see your son's stats. We're wondering, you know, we're down a player. We're wondering if you want to, if he wants to come for practice and see how it goes. And we're looking to add him to the team. Great. Realize that there's maybe three or four players who played on our high school football team with me. One of them I don't like. I think you know who I'm talking about. No, there's a few. No, the, the two of the three I liked. It was Tyler and Ryan I liked. Okay. Shout out Tyler. Shout out Ryan. Hope you guys are doing well. I don't know what they're doing now. Um, and the other one, he was nice to you, but he hated me. This was before we started dating. Uh, yeah. yeah. So I gotcha. I remember him. We practiced once a week, Wednesday nights, and the practices started at like I was so surprised. 9.30. I don't know. All I remember is I had football, then ball hockey, then baseball on Wednesdays. I was tired on Thursdays. <laughs> Thursdays would be game day for football, so I was like, oh my god. I never played. I never started. <laughs> um, So I went, and it was like maybe a month or two in. He just starts... We're, we're just... We don't like each other, so we're kind of yelling at each other. Like, we're shit-talking each other. And he goes, how'd you get on this team? I go, I didn't even try out, and I made this team. That says something. You can't speak. And I remember just walking away. <laughs> And then we just did the next drill. I remember, I'm just like, 
my mom's like, don't say that, you know, they ask you to be on the team, this and that. So I'm like, okay. Broke that a month later. Oopsie daisies. Oopsie daisies. Well, come on. You can't expect you not to say something when like, somebody's <laughs> talking like that. If he's asking how I got on the team, I'm going to tell him. I didn't need to try out. I was royally asked. I was asked so nicely. Mm-hmm. It said pretty please with a cherry on top. And I said, absolutely. Then COVID shut down that season and it ended up sad. I liked watching play. You like watching you play. What did I play? When he when uh, he did end up playing. House League. But it was like a travel house league. It was so fun to watch. It was fun to play. But it also sucked because there was no practice. Like, it was literally just you play a game with people you just meet up and there's a 50-50 chance if they show up. It was... Like, I, I would... Listen. <laughs> I don't. I can't play baseball very well, but at least I can throw well. Do you want to explain that story? Uh, I went to one of his uh, his games one time, and they were practicing like throwing and whatever, and they were passing it to each other, and one of the balls ended up over the fence. So I grabbed it, and they're like, "Oh, throw it here, throw it here." So I was like a pretty far distance away, and I threw it to him directly, and they're they're just sat there and went, "Damn." Like, oh my gosh, like, damn, that was a pretty good throw. And my I'm like, parents yeah. and my grandparents. No, your grandparents were there this time. No, oh, then. No. Oh, then it was just my parents. Yeah, it was just your parents this time. But, um, I threw it to them, whatever. And, um, then they ended up throwing the ball <laughs> over the fence again. My team was bad. <laughs> yes. And I threw it again over to them. And his dad was like, Savannah, you don't need to show off. You know you're better than half the people on this team. But, like, and I'm just sitting there, and I went, okay, I won't. It was funny, too, because you were. I, you... I, I've never played baseball. I never claimed to play baseball. <laughs> I was never a fighter. I never claimed to be a fighter. <laughs> That's why I said Bryce it. Bryce Hall. No, it was super fun, but um, I was a little surprised because uh, that's a pretty high compliment, especially from his dad. And I was happy. It was, yeah, that house league, it was all right. It was meh. The first game, either my mom, was a, it was a typo from my mom. She was out in, wherever, on vacation for the first game. Timbuktu. She was in Timbuktu, enjoying the beaches of Timbuktu. Um, so my grandparents were watching us. And they're like, hey, um... Blah, blah, blah. They were talking, and your game's at five, whatever it was. Turns out the game was at six, so I showed up half an hour. I showed up an hour and a half early. Better to be not early do anything. than late. Well, yeah. To not do anything. So we're talking, and then my. I'm like, my shoes were from the football season, so the toe of them is coming off the thing, and whatever it was they were bad so my grandparents took me out the next day and bought me baseball cleats um i still lovely have them. people by the way love them lovely people i still have them they I were so nice to me again. i freaked out the first time i ever met them <laughs> i was on call with him and i'm like yeah your parent your grandparents they're gonna hate me like they're not gonna like me you think i was nervous for his parents no i wasn't nervous for his parents his grandparents i was i was petrified <laughs> But they were really nice, so. So, yeah, I was sitting there, and then I, like, was throwing to myself. I was throwing it against a wall. Like, I had a couple baseballs in my bag, so I'm throwing them against a wall, and I'm like, okay, now I'm bored. Then I went onto the mound, I'm like, okay, maybe I can just kind of, like, warm up my arm and kind of just pitch from the mound, get used to it again. And then I got bored, because I was only throwing at, like, a tire. It just, it was... You got tired of that I one. I got tired of that one. <laughs> um, I'm hilarious, don't worry. <laughs> But it was long season. I talked about this on the concession stand podcast. I ended up getting my final game ever playing youth baseball. I ended up getting ejected because I was right. The umps were wrong. Truthfully, I was right. They actually overturned the call after I got ejected. So I was right. But the only reason he didn't go back into the game was because of his big mouth over here. Hey. Which was fair, to be honest, but... I'm at the right. Same time. That's all I need to know. Those umps where we played, I talked about it in the pod, the other podcast. It bad, horrible. Always, we always had a problem with them. Both teams always had a problem. They just did not know baseball, which yeah. is really funny considering they're umpires, or they didn't get paid enough. That too. Empire, more like M fired. 
it's like a good third of the actual MLB umpires just should kidding. be fired. I'm just kidding. I don't. I. No, no they were bad. Yeah. They but... should know they're bad. <laughs> I remember the ump was like, "Oh, you 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 want to get tossed?" I'm like, "Do it. It's my final game. I'm not playing tomorrow. I don't care." The my coaches suck still. But they were my coaches were just like assholes though. One of them was an asshole. The other two were fine. I've rarely I, I I've rarely had good coaches. My dad used to coach me. I tell you that. I knew that. The only reason he got it, the only reason he coached, was because one of the the coaches was just like the financial person. They needed three coaches. So they're like, they went to my dad one day because I was warming up and he was like watching me and I would miss and he's like, you would yell at me to change something and I would change it. I'd throw a strike perfectly. And my, they're like, you, uh, you want to start coaching? And he's like, sure. So he coached the rest of the season with, the, with, with us, which was nice. That was fun. He's pretty <sighs> smart when it comes to that stuff. He's great. Great baseball mind. Yeah, super smart. Hmm. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we can talk about. We well, went from high school to baseball. baseball. I didn't even finish COVID. Yeah. I've we've switched topics three times we before from, switching. We <laughs> went finishing my thought. No, we went from bikes to dogs to high school to YouTube. Back to high school. Then back to baseball. Then baseball. Now back to high school. Isn't that great? COVID. COVID. Great. Great. It sucked when we had to go back. I, I don't know. I, I liked it. I, I was so excited. I, I didn't like it because I knew we would be like, okay, now we have to stay sick. It, it, it was like, we went back and we're like, what's the point? If we're not going to be able to do the full school activities and we have to stay six feet apart and whatever it is, whatever it was, it was right? I liked it because I got to see people again. And I, my favorite class was my drama class especially during covid times it was my favorite class because i didn't do it online at all but I, I i got to go happy i didn't choose grade 10 covid i i got to experience drama during like back f from covid and it was so fun because we had so many fun games and for so many fun things and like our teacher phenomenal guy and he always um what was it he always had so many different things and ideas in ways to be able to experience the draw the whole like experience of drama in covid and yeah. he, like we he would let us go outside when it was warm and nice and we we would play games and it was just so fun because wasn't the rule when did we have drum? Was that that was second was, semester, right? Nope, first, first semester. semester of grade eleven. Grade eleven, yes. Yeah, because they had. I remember because whoever it was, I don't know if it, we had two drama teachers. At the no, time. it was. Was it him? Mm, well, it one was, of them taped the floors to have our own cubbies. Our that own was, little spot. I think that was. Yeah, that was. Was that Collins? Yes, it was. Love Collins. Love Bron and Collins. We can say them. We like them. We can say their name. I just don't want to like. Yeah. Okay. You know well, how many Collins there are in the school, true. our schools? That's true. I had like three Collins in my elementary schools, like teachers with the last name Collins. Plus, um, he doesn't go to the school we went to anymore, so. L. Oh, my L. God. I know, it's an L because he left. It was so sad. It was so sad, but um, it was, it was nice because, yeah, you got to see people, but... You would have to, you, you got to see them from the same distance as I would see them through my computer screen. Cause you would have to be like three feet back and or What three do you mean? We got cool what was it? We we got cool mats. We got to sit on mats all day with with chairs. That was fun. But it was like out outside of that, you would sit and you would you would have to be like six feet apart from everyone, which is like that's farther than me and my computer screen. And I could just easily talk to my friend through that. Because if I'm not allowed to go up to my friend and give him a high five, what's the point of being there? The only thing I ever forgot about was, like, 
putting on, on my mask again, especially when we went back outside and then we had to go back in. Mm-hmm. I would always forget to put my mask on. And then I'd sit there and they're like, Savannah, your mask. I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, I forgot. My hands were either full or I just honestly forgot. Because sometimes I get distracted really easily. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> um, <laughs> bashed my finger against the table. He's dying. It's okay. Don't worry. About uh, Anyways, so I remember I love that rule where you get to go outside and you can take off your mask. And then I remember they tried to make it so when you go outside, you can't take off your mask. And I don't remember like, that. I, I thought for a while they tried to make it, and people were like, I don't think so. The kids so. just, we didn't listen to it anyway. I don't think so. I don't remember that at all. Really? No, I don't. I thought I remembered it. I don't think so because, like, we're out in, like, the air. We can't, like, it was that we can, we have to stay six feet apart. Which was broken immediately. (laughs) Especially in our drama class. Thanks, Colin. There was so, so little we could do actually six feet apart. No. It was, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It, in our drama class, we had a lot of freedom. He just, he wanted to give us, he had limits, obviously. Because he wanted to at, keep us safe, but he wanted us to have fun with, fun it, yeah. with us. He, he wanted us to be safe and protect us, but he was so good at his job. Just genuinely, he was so good at his job. Like, he Listen. made sure, our, I know, me too. He made sure our experience was worthwhile. Out of all the teachers, I will admit, he genuinely made an impact on every student he ever came across gym class sucked over covid i agree they were it was bad well they, oh, i had I fitness the whole semester because we had classes when, when no we, that no i meant like when you had to be at home that's oh, when it sucked oh for me it did not i slept through that the whole thing well i would join a call and then i would do they're like okay film this activity and you would go down. I actually did it in the room over here. I would film it for five minutes and be like, okay, I'm done. And I would just go back upstairs and play games. My mom would be like, aren't you supposed to be done? And I'm like, I'm done. Well, yeah. But, well, I think we had two different experiences then. Because <laughs> yeah, for me, um, I we had to do a call. And for the first week of that semester, we had to... Basically, we just did, uh, like, writing for hours. That's so stupid. But then um, the rest of the time, we had to submit in, like, exercises. But ours were 15 minutes long. Because two and a half an hour, depending on whatever. Our fitness teacher was a fitness nut. Like, he was... Oh my goodness. But my teacher was so nice. But um <laughs> I was like in the best shape of my life because of that teacher to be honest. That's fair. Because I am again such a tryhard. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I um went into that class, I was with athletic tall guys. Like I basically had me and three other girls with me and the girls obviously were only there to like get the credit yeah which is fine not a big deal and i don't judge it just like i do i was in it to win it like i wanted people to know that like i'm not somebody to be messed with like i wanted them to know that just because i'm i'm small and just because whatever (laughs) does not mean you get to run me over i still had a lot of people who like shoved me a lot especially during hockey <laughs> hockey was physical hockey, but it was so they fun. did not care who hockey i was, was or so what fun. i was i was never in a gym class with her which sucked <laughs> he visited a few times i did visit when we were dating um it was nice actually i think it was even kind of before we were dating i would stop by yeah well you'd stop by with friends and stuff yeah shout um, out to dom love you dom um but we <laughs> like my gym it would be, we would have, call for like 15 minutes, stretch, and then she would send us off on our way to record the thing. And I'm like, okay, so here's how you do it. And I did like one set. And I'll be like, okay, now we're moving on to the next one. And I would 
do one set and I, okay and i'll do like five five different exercises one set each and i'd be like okay i'm just gonna do them off camera just so i can get it out of the way and then i would just not do i'd go right back into bed i or, can't um, remember my my fitness teacher's name i was miss green she was awesome i keep seeing her at my work sometimes oh yeah kylie liked her too yeah. um no mine was the tougher version of mr laux oh i love I want to get Laux on the podcast. Oh, no. I want to get Laux or Chomic do you remember, on the podcast. Do you remember who I'm talking about at all? I think. Was he bald? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he <laughs> he would push you. If he put, like, he pushed you. Like, and I, I had, to, when we went back to school, that's who, what teacher I had. And I, it was, you have to run, like, 10 laps. Don't stop. Don't, I, don't stop don't stop don't stop i would drop if you, class. you stopped like it, it was okay it wasn't it wasn't a big deal but i was with the big weeks <laughs> it was it because we had um with the four, jocks we had um three sections so it was um like the top right they oh wait no this is miss Lokes. Mm. Um, never mind. The meaner never. version of Mr. Lokes, Mrs. Lokes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh huh. Right. Love no. you, Mrs. Lokes. <laughs> but she, uh, it was he. He was more physical. We were in um the weight room. Yeah, most of the time, and I like that place. I liked it only when we were doing legs because True. I have very strong legs, and um, my my arms. They're a lot stronger now than they were in high school, but, like, when I was in high school, I could barely lift anything. Nude and alarms, trunk legs. It would <laughs> always embarrass me. Um, but, uh, what is it? Kind of some big ham honks. Hey, ow, bop. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, uh, I think I liked Miss Lux more than him. Like, I liked him, but I was exhausted, because we had the same class for one whole week i loved that though i i liked it for certain things i loved it i liked it i liked it for certain things i liked it for for a lot of reasons but when i did that class i was exhausted every single day i would pass out as soon as i hit the bed i would sleep off my entire day i was exhausted all the time but it was so fun because i I, I like proving myself. I, I like it. Right. Which I have mentioned a few times. But I, I um it's just one of those things. It's like I, I like I always have to catch up with people who are higher than me. Because it's like as soon as I catch up to them, I know I nobody can say anything about me. Nobody can say anything. They can't say, Oh, Savannah's lazy. No, I'm not. I'm up with you. That's fair. So I, it, I, and that's why I still do it now at work. Uh, I went from a cashier to the hardest working, like, like area, like the hardest. Yeah, like the most difficult, most physical. M- yeah, most. Position. I went from doing absolutely no physical work to only doing physical work. I think I, I liked the one. The only thing I didn't like about the one class a week was then you had another class the next week. And then you'd, at least for me, I would forget a lot of what we learned the week before, like the, the last week we did into the next week. And my I'm memory's like, why can't we just have a recap? My memory's too good for that. <laughs> I had a teacher, my bio, no, chemistry teacher. I was so excited for chemistry. I liked the idea of chemistry and making things explode and making things like. I had a like, science class that I didn't get to experience. <sighs> Right there um but my teacher ruined it the way she had her class it was like three it was two days of learning because we would have half days that's how we did it we would go eight to like noon quarter after or quarter to one something like that i don't remember exactly and then it would be like study hall and you could leave early if you wanted to um i liked study hall i think i left early a lot <laughs> I also liked uh, when we when we had a five minute break all the time, so that we can walk around the hallway, see friends, whatever. And it only started when COVID hit, and I, I used to love that time when we got to go Some and see friends and stuff. So I'd see him a lot. Some teachers were so strict about it. 
I got to wait outside his class a lot. Um, this was before we were dating. This was when what we were just friends. Been... You were in math class. I'd come out. Come I don't remember in... what class that where where I would have been. I know the hallway. I just don't remember the classroom. I remember the classroom. Um, two. It was the third one. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I got to sit outside your class a lot with like whoever. Who did I bring a lot of the time? Josh. Josh. Maybe I don't remember. I don't think it was Josh. I remember, but it. I remember leaving early because you would leave at like quarter to one, and it was nice. But you would. It, it ended up like my teacher. My my chemistry teacher had it messed up. It'd be two days of learning. You would then have a experiment i don't know what they're called an experiment and then you would have a day of review for the test that was then the friday i'm like well, how does this make sense and you would lose you wouldn't remember that was i think one of my worst next to my grade 12 math one of my worst classes grade 12 math the teacher was bad um and i didn't learn anything because i didn't get to write down anything it was all on whiteboard so you'd erase it i just i couldn't remember how to do the equation it sucked. I hated it. Um, I still ended up passing, though, with, like, a 63. I, um... My mom wasn't too happy. And I'm like, yeah. I'm happy. I'm At least you done. passed. Well, like, I, um... I, I'm, I have a fairly decent memory when it comes to a lot of stuff. Right. The only class I had a hard time in was my math class. Which is weird for me because the only time I really struggled was English, except for grade nine. With I comics. was so good at English. I I've always been bad at math, but my grade eleven math class. There are two types of kids. There's the I math was, kid and the English kid. I was really I I couldn't remember anything, and I had a lot of distractions in that class. That was dumb, right? Yeah. I was like. I wasn't in any of your math classes. He didn't mean to. I, I would have been a bad distraction, too. He I didn't just mean wasn't. to. It's just, like, he was right next to me. That's where we we, we officially met, for me and him. Time. Oh, yeah, that's another story for another day. Um, But me and him met each other in that class, and, like, I just couldn't get anything done. It was either him or the annoying girl next to me. It's a lose-lose either way. She... She, um, she would cop copy off me a lot and ask me for things, and she would only talk about boys, and he, she would text me about boys, and she asked me to talk to these boys, and whatever, and she would do, do so. Do I know her? Yeah. She went to your old school. You have to tell me after, because I don't remember. You, yeah. You'll tell me, tell me after the podcast, I'll remember. Um. I was gonna say you could bleep it out if it's not- no. Because once I throw in the intro and I make sure the audio is fine, I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> I don't want to do more editing. Hold on. Um, hold hold. I'm, I'm, I don't know. Uh, hold on. I had science I'm gonna with type Dom. It That's to how you. him and I met. No, he, he is like the most... He, he He's so fun, but so distracting. Amen. No, I'm, I don't care. I'm just going to... Anyways. um, um But um, what was it? Oh, we got so off topic Dumb. again. No, no, we got so off topic again. No. Oh. I was going to say my, my high school experience. Um, My high school experience was... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> my high school experience was really, really, like... Because my, my elementary school experience, right, um, was really good. I didn't really have any problems, personally. Um... I was the nice kid. Like, I was... I had a lot of friends, so if anybody messed with me, automatically there'd be somebody in my corner. Yeah. So, I had people who tried to pick on me, but then there was these these other kids who would protect me before anything could happen to me, which was good. Um, I had a lot of different types of experiences. Um got harassed a lot which is nice oops no i was 
I guess. Well, in, in um, a lot of short jokes. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that was just me. In um, in high school, uh, I had a lo- like, it it wasn't very different to me. Like I was really nervous, and everything was bigger, and it was scary for the most part. But then, like, I got friends and people. He was one of my first friends in high school. Uh, I met him in October. We can tell the story for another day. Another podcast of what? how we met. How we met? Yeah. Okay. I won't. We I won't. met in October. We met in October. And we, there was like little bits and pieces in between where like we st- stopped talking at one point. Mostly because stuff happened. Like drama, whatever. Stuff that happened with you. <laughs> yeah. Things that happened with him. <laughs> so he was Oopsies. spooked. I was spooked. But I, I was okay. I was, I, um, eventually we started talking again in grade 11. That's not, that's, no, I grade 10. When grade I got 10. Snap, I think it was, but oh, yeah. yeah, so grade yeah, 10. Grade 10. I because you were one of the first people I added because you were the one first to pop up. Sick. I didn't know that. Um, but he was like Excellent. one of my, him and a bunch of other people, um, I would talk to during covid but me and him would stay up for hours and just chat for hours <laughs> about what Anything? bad pickup lines we would <gasps> that yeah bad pickup lines oh my god lines. that can be another topic for another day oh, of course but, but like um i've always been really good at bad pickup lines <laughs> um what was it but like my great my um my grade nine year good grades lots like friends whatever um grade 10 was pretty much the same thing except a lot of covid stuff and i would just chill out in my room watch youtube and i would stay up for hours mostly drawing actually i was very productive when it came to my art because um I'm very passionate about it. Like, I know I'm not the best artist or anything like that, but I'm, I'm a pretty decent artist. Again, I, I have... She's great. I love her art. I have, um... Like, I like doing it. It's very therapeutic. And, like... Um... I was with my dad a lot during that. And then grade 11, when we came back, I was super happy super happy happiest day. like i've always been like a very happy kid like i was always a happy kid and um i just liked being around people people were like to me the best right like i loved people i still do just some people kind of suck i found that in customer service <laughs> and i found that by living <laughs> <laughs> but um uh, my main friend group was with him, and, like, I was friends with everybody. I kind of had collective, like, I was friends with every group. Like, I wasn't, like, yeah, you, just in you, one spot. You weren't a part of a clique. No. Like, how no. most people are. You were, like... I was you, in every you, clique. You just floated around. I was in every clique. Yeah. I just liked being with people. I just liked learning. Plus, like, all the gossip I knew about everything. I, I I knew everything and everyone's like business. I didn't mean to. Kind of just happened, and I never I never really spreaded it. Like it spread it. Spread it. I never, spread it, it, it. I never sp- like sp- put that around. <laughs> Sh- you never shared the information. You just knew of it. Yeah. Oh, the only person I ever shared any info with is my twin. Oh. Which I don't know if anybody else knew that, but I'm a twin. Isn't that cool? We can get her on the podcast. One of these days. She can tell us about twin experiences or anything else. I don't know. Our childhood. But, um, I, I don't know. I, I had a really good experience in high school, which sucks that he didn't. Because, really but weird. I, uh, it's, I think it's funny because our experiences are so different. Yeah. It's like the opposite. Well, it's going to be great too. In the future when we have a family, we, like, can prepare for everything because we, either one of us has been through it. Or the other has been through yeah, it. Yeah, it's like one of us has been through it, and it's, we can always, like, hey, 
kid comes back, go, hey, this has happened. Oh, yeah, go talk to your mother. It happened to her. Yeah, this happened to, to her. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say, do you want to tell the story on how you introduced yourself to the whole high school? <laughs> you can say I no. I totally forgot about that. That's what was in my head this whole time. I want, I like, I don't want you to say it, but at the same time, I want you to say it. I know it's embarrassing. I know. I actually totally forgot about that until you brought it up. Oh, I'm never going to forgive you for that. Nope. That's oh. it. Officially. Never. Okay. So I guess so we're not talking about it. How it about happened. It. Oh, we about it. <laughs> well, I can do it quick. Um, oh, we're already an hour. See how much fun, much more fun it is. It's much more fun with more people. It, with it, is, it is nice to talk a bit. Like, like, I now see why Jonah records all his podcasts with other people. With, in, no, in person. I oh. now, I get it. Jonah. I understand now, but I'm still not driving out to your place. <laughs> you can come here if you really care. Do it. I don't drive highways. You do. You do go. To, you go to Toronto every day. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, I don't know. um, this setup's better than yours. I don't care if your dad works at a radio station at home. I don't care. The yeah. two mics are better. Two mics. It'll skill issue. Skill issue. Um. So the way I introduced. I'm his hype man. <laughs> That's so true, though. the The way I introduced myself in high school, it was the orientation. Mm-hmm. It was so stupid. And I remember it. Con in context in element or in high school, no elementary school. I was called Big C. Probably should have not accepted that nickname. Looking back, but I had a nickname, and I thought I was cool because I had a nickname, and I just wanted to be cool. So I go. And I, our orientation, they're like, oh, let's, you know, get a couple of you guys up here. I was one of them. And I went up with a kid who I was okay with. Uh, and he, I was okay with him. He wasn't the bad, he wasn't one of the bad ones. I don't remember them. I remember you. Anyways, so I went up with him and I go, hey, how should I introduce myself? He goes, say your big C. And I'm like, what? He goes, say your big C. And that's like the girls, two people, they're like, I'm... Alicia, I'm Samantha. And it's like me. I'm like, I'm Big C. And ev- like. It erupted. Let me tell you. Did it really? I don't remember yes. that part. I remember saying I remember. It. I re- well, I guess people knew it. So oh, people it was probably who, just the kids who people, knew me. Yes. It, <laughs> the whole. T- I, I didn't know. I didn't care. I was like, oh, sick. I did, cool. have, I did have people like grade 12s who saw me call Whoa. me Big C. Oh, but there they was, did, was Logan. I they think. did it because they were. Logan. They were. Meh. The grade twelves no, that's just how they knew me. Oh, that must have been memorable then. Oh, the well, kids, the kids who I who went to elementary school with were assholes. Yes, they were terrible, but and especially this one guy. I won't mention names. I won't say names. But one, I, there's so many of them. Well, there was this one guy who who I remember because he was an asshole to me. So it was like, is this the kid I fought? No, that's another story. But one um, high school fight. Um, I'm basically. All over one. I was in the stadium, right, and this random kid walks up, and all I hear is, yeah, I'm Big C, (laughs) (laughs) and I'm like, this guy must be popular, damn! (laughs) It was, I was never, I I I just knew a lot of people. I, I, for good and bad reasons, I was known by a lot of people, and I knew a lot of people. I didn't know a lot of people. I knew a handful of people who knew me, but they knew me. I don't know how. I don't know why. They just did. Probably not me. for good reasons, but they knew me. Um, Actually, I think he might have known more people than I did. That's fair. People, because, like, what was it? A lot of people knew who I was. And a lot of people, like, I was, again, the nice girl. That's what, that's, that was my title. I was the nice girl who knew everybody. It's fair. And, like, it's just because I would just start up a conversation, and then automatically I got one, two, three new friends. Oh, yeah. That's how, that's how all of my friends started. I just randomly came up to people, and I'm like, you want to be friends? Let's be friends. Okay. You, you know what? The, then I'd get their Snapchats. You know the part of high school that I regret the most? Mm-hmm. Actually going to graduation. Graduation was very boring. Keep in mind, my, my last name... Is at the end of the alphabet. Oh, yeah. It's after mine. Just yeah, after mine. Just after. Just after mine. So, we would go, and it would be a grad... And, you know, I don't know how many, if any of you are watching, have graduated high school. 
Um, it is very boring. The t- the speech that is given by the principal at the start of it, you can Google. It is basically word for word. Can't be any worse than our friend started with, uh, whose letter started with a Z. I don't even know that person. I probably do. I just can't remember them. Someone that we actively talk to. Yeah. Anyways. I remember who oh, they are. Yes. Okay. Yes. Keep in mind, he was like three spots back away from me. <laughs> that doesn't mean you don't know who he is. He probably went up with me. I don't remember. Maybe he was the next group. I don't. Anyways. He did go up with you. Oh. It, yeah. Anyways. So we went. Carter, everybody. And I'm sitting there and they're going up. The, the way they did it was five people at a time. And they would go up and be like. It would be the girl at the front with the, the script. Jeremy Smith. Rhea Smithley. And it would be like... Rhea Smithley is hilarious. It's after Smith. Anyway, so it would be in order of the kids. And then you got to the kids who were like super smart. Uh, Ronald Weasley. I don't know. Um... Award recipient of blank, 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 blank. And it would be like two minutes long of the lady just reading the awards they won. And you're like, okay, just say they got a lot of awards. Who won a lot of awards next? Like, and you would be, it was so boring. And we had about how many, we had like, what? Like 500 kids, 600 kids. I think it was 500. 500 alone, just graduating. I think it was 480. Like, we'll round up it was, saying even 500. That's why, I, yeah. It was 480. Um, 480. So we had thought. a 480 kids graduating. It was a four hour long thing. My parents, it was in a like hockey arena. My parents should have left. My parents. <laughs> Come back. My parents were sitting there and they're like, I'm happy that it's over. I wish we didn't go. I'm happy you got the photo. I'm, I told my mom, I'm, like, I'm happy you got the photos. I never want to do that again. She goes, great, because you don't have to do it again. I'm graduating in a, in two months from college for the first time. Except that should that shouldn't take as long, hopefully not. And I will bring my phone this time. Anyways, sure. anything else we want to touch on? We have been recording for an hour and twenty one minutes. Holy cow! Right? Um, I don't really know. Oh, that's no, no, the I... water droplets. I we can always talk they... about it the next episode too. There's like there's a lot we can talk about, but we also have so many opportunities to do it especially considering i am now his co-host. co-host in person and through video too like i think that's pretty awesome it won't be as impressive when you see my setup just saying his his setup is a lot more impressive than mine mine is about a <laughs> desk phone. this big my phone and yeah and um a bunch of stuffies. I have a stuffy collection if you want to see that. I'll show that off in the next episode. Or in a different episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have yet, follow, subscribe. Check out her channel. Check out mine channel. I now have to go through and change some things on the card and a bunch of other things for this podcast. But we'll get it fixed. It'll be so great. It will be. It'll be so great. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you. And we will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye. Peace.